today what I did in class for the pumpkin drop specifically um, is we voted on our plan and then we built our box with the pumpkin in it. The part I had most fun with was either presenting or drawing my picture for the plan. You want to start teaching 21st century learning skills for children, so you want them to be critical thinkers. Think about how they're going to design the packaging for the pumpkin. Um, you want them to be, to be able to collaborate. You know, how do they work with their peers till they get along with their peers? You want them to be creative. If you looked at a lot of the things that were around the pumpkins today, I mean, there was a variety of things. There were things with parachutes, there were plastic bottles, there were feathers, there were all sorts of different things. And you also want them to learn to communicate with each other as well. What I learned in this team is that we all originally had different ideas, and then I learned that when you become a team, um, you sort of know what, each, what you're doing because you have to explain it, so then you know it better, and your teammates know it better. The cool thing about the pumpkin drop is that um, they're motivated, so I think it came more naturally than other times. But I think if we keep practicing at letting them each have a voice and, um, and have a chance to share their ideas, then they really enjoy that. So it, it's, we're getting there, and, and I think the kids really enjoyed today. I think the favorite part is watching their faces as, as you know, it goes down there, and then all of a sudden, you know, did ours break? You know, were we successful? And the kids enjoy it, it's fun. You know, school should be fun. It doesn't always have to be, you know, a drill and, and things like that. Hands-on experiences are the best for kids.